Good to be with you. More importantly, uh, good to have your company, as we often say on radio, because without your company, we don't really have a... Well, we have no audience, of course. And whilst I don't know that you're there, I physically can't see you. I know you're there because we we get calls on the open line 131873 and we get emails through to the website, 2GB. Dot com and they continue to come in, including this one from Jeff, um, who says, um, Hi, Glenn. Tonight's broadcast has affirmed your merit, merit, meretricious... I'm not that smart, Jeff, so pardon me for not understanding what these words are. Tonight's broadcast has affirmed your meretricious nature. Your impassioned assault on capitalism further reiterates the deceptive nature of your program. You have crossed more lines than a ballroom dancer on a parquet floor tonight. <laughs> Stop being such a biblioclept, please. Not impressed. Uh, Jeff, thank you for your uh, for your note, first of all, and thank you for going to the trouble of um, sitting down and, and actually penning a little note to tell me how you feel. That's important. That's the first thing. That's very important because, you know, a lot of people don't do that, and so I don't really know what they think, how they think. In your case, I do. I know exactly how you think. I... The only thing I'm concerned about, though, is that I don't know what you mean. So I've just gone to, while I'm sitting here, I've just gone to uh, Meretricious, Meretricious, M-E-R-E-T-R-I-C-I-O-U-S. Apparently attractive, but having in reality no value or integrity, as in Meretricious souvenirs for the tourist trade. So, Jeff, I'm assuming what you're saying here is that I have affirmed that I am apparently attractive, but having no value or integrity in reality. Okay, so that's the first part of it. My impassioned assault on capitalism... Hang on, where was... Jen, can you remember... Jordan, can you remember an impassioned assault on capitalism that I've had tonight? I seem to remember having a... I gave gave Woolworths and Coles a spray, I remember that. That's not an impassioned assault on capitalism, though, Jeff, if you've misinterpreted that one, because that's more of an impassioned assault on a duopoly. That's different, you see, because I'm all about free trade and people having a go. That's why I so very much encouraged uh, supporting your local green grocer or your butcher or your baker or your candlestick maker. Oh, no, all about capitalism. No problem with that. In fact, I love it. Ha <laughs> ha, ka-ching, ka-ching. No, you got that one wrong, Jeffrey. But anyway, let's move on. Um, uh, you have crossed more lines than a ballroom dancer on a parquet floor. Stop being a biblioclept, please. Biblioclept. Okay, let's have a look at this. Biblioclept. I'm going to Google here and write a biblioclept. Uh, biblioclept. Uh, let's go to the Webster online for biblioclept and let's just see what it uh, comes up with. Unless someone can just ring in. One who steals books. Uh... No, I don't think that's what he means. One who steals books. That can't be right. A biblioclept. And maybe we'll put it to the audience. Maybe somebody listening. Have you ever heard of a biblioclept, Jordan? You've got no idea, have you? None whatsoever. No? I'm guessing it's Um, a swear word in another country. Yeah, no. Jordan thinks it's possibly a swear word in another country. Um, I'm guessing, just quietly, that uh, Jeff is actually a big fan of the show. And this is all tongue-in-cheek. He's actually loving the show. That's why he's... (laughs) That's why he sent me the uh, the email. Good to have your company, Jeff. Biblioclept. Sounds like someone who steals Bibles. I've got a couple of library books at home that I haven't taken back for a few years. Maybe that's what he means. I quite enjoy it, though, when people don't like the show because it, it brings some balance back to things because overwhelmingly... Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people across the country absolutely love it, and uh, rightly so. So, uh, Jeff, if you don't like the show, then um, as I've often said to people who don't like the show, just exercise your right to switch me off and um, go across to another station. Go across to TUE. Goodness knows that Pete Graham needs all the listeners he can possibly get. Yep, 
Uh, it's a big gap between first and second place, and they'd probably love to have your company over there, uh, Jeff. Uh, to the lady who rang uh, just before the channel, uh, the uh, ten o'clock news, actually, uh, the lady who rang the switch, and you'll know who you are, madam, because uh, 